Good evening, my name is Tammy Andreas, last name A-N-D-R-E-A-S. I am a parent from the Metropolitan Learning Center. Our family chose MLC because of its alternative hands-on experiential learning environment. Recently, our administrators said that we are not an alternative school, yet ODE, PPS's website, and MLC's website all say MLC is an alternative school. What's the story? The teachers at MLC offer an experiential education. This requires a lot of time and support. The support comes from the parent community and needs to come from the administrative staff as well that works with the teachers to support their projects, trips, and educational experiences. Most of us understand that this type of learning cannot easily be translated to seat instructional minutes, but we think it is worth so much more than that. The MLC community has made huge changes over the years in response to changing curriculum. But they made those changes collaboratively with all the stakeholders involved while preserving MLC's alternative education approach. Many families have tried to collaborate with our current administration to no avail. Countless letters to the district and the superintendent have been written and sent with little or no acknowledgement or results. As a result of lack of collaboration, poor communication, and a divisive community climate, a number of families have left MLC. Many additional families are thinking about leaving. This makes me so sad. I guess I'm left wondering, why was MLC given an administrative team that seems to neither support nor understand alternative education? When I first visited MLC to view the school to see if I wanted my children to go there, I was so impressed. MLC's teachers had such a wonderful understanding of teaching to the whole child. My sister, who recently retired from PPS after 33 years, watched the school district go from being at its best teaching to the whole child to the district's current crippling narrow vision. Not everyone fits in the narrow vision. Our school community believes that every human being has intrinsic value and our school has been a safe haven for children and their families who think and feel that they are different. Though MLC may not currently have the kind of racial diversity that reflects the population of our city, it has, a customarily, it has customarily had diversity in terms of children with special needs. The school has had as much as double the percentage of special education students of most PPS schools. Our family has had the opportunity to see special education children truly flourish with the support of teachers and students alike. Additionally, our current administrators are planning to craft a new mission statement for our school with our site council. Our current mission statement is, our mission is a commitment to innovative learning for students of all ages. It provides for an environment in which the participants' needs, ideas, and feelings are openly communicated and acted upon appropriately. Self-esteem and love of learning are consistent valued themes. Why do we need a new mission statement? <clears throat> Eight years later, I have two now TAG-identified students at MLC. We feel so fortunate to have had the opportunity to experience such a wonderfully compassionate, supportive, collaborative, and respectful community for our children. They have truly benefited academically, socially, and emotionally from being involved with MLC's amazing teachers and the alternative program there. MLC's character traits are words to live by. Courage, integrity, compassion, self-discipline, and respect. We would like to see our administrators set a positive example by following our character traits every day. Yes, so they can be role models for the children, the professionals they should be guiding and supporting. Thank you. 